Yo, what's up, everybody? Charles Macro here today, jumping back in the fishing planet. We are picking up where we left off at Blue Crab, trying to finish this out, finish out this 30 day exploration. Almost there, almost there. Or oh, finish out the 30 day challenge and the exploration mission. That's what we're about to get into. How's everybody? How y'all doing? What's up? What's up? What's going on? What's going on? Hope all is well. Shout out to you and yours. What's up, Elite Fam? Got to salute the Elite Fam, man. Salute. How y'all doing today? What's up, Sleep? What's up, Brandon? Kim, what's up? What's up? Hello. What's going on, y'all? Same old soup just warmed over. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> hey, that's what's up, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. While you coming in, hit that like button, guys. I know most of y'all already did that, but hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. You know what to do. Feed the algorithm. What's up, Dom? What's going on? What's going on? How goes it? How goes it? How y'all doing? Look, I'm already out here. I'm in a public lobby. I just wanted to see some other folks catch some fish. Back at the same spot, the, the old faithful hot spot. I'm actually trying to fill up the net. Then we're going to do this Blue Crab Island Exploration 2. We're going to finish this Exploration 2 out. We did uh, Exploration 1 on our last stream, so we're going to finish 2. I'm trying to basically master the lake, do like a lake mastery series, find everything, uh, do about everything we can do. Oh, we got to get the monster in too. I was hoping that this might be the last if I can grind it out and get these 30 days in, but we still got to catch that monster. That one popped up as well, so we'll see how that goes, guys. We'll see how that goes. But, yeah, man, how's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Alex. What's up, Alex? Yes, I remember you. How you been? How you been? How you been? Where you been? How's life been treating you? Hey, what's up, Big King? What's going on? Now, nah, you ain't late, man. You right on time. You right on time. We just getting going. Just getting going. Uh-oh, and the rise is going. The rise is going crazy. The rise is going crazy. Look, y'all done set it off. Y'all done set it off. Y'all keep coming on in. Keep coming on in. Got the lines going crazy. So your girl blowing up your phone and your friends too. Okay. Hope everything all right. Hope everything is all right. Man, I've been making good money. Guys, if you didn't see my video, I threw up a little short video. I got fined 30K, guys. 30K. I was in here. I'm a multitasker, right? I have like two games going on at the same time. I be doing work. Hey, what's up, Gerald Bates? What's going on? Shout out to G Bates. Hold on, hold on. We got somebody in the room here hollering at me. What's up, G Bates? What's going on? All right. Yeah, man. I got fined 30K because my license had expired and I caught a fish, man. So you can check the little short, the, uh, the video on the channel. I threw it up. Yeah, it happened yesterday, I believe. Oh, I was hurt. I was sick. Luckily, I had the money, but 30K, man. Oh, that's going to hurt no matter what. Uh, let's say Alex, really love the vids and the streams. Thanks for making the content. Absolutely, absolutely. Glad that you're enjoying it. Uh, appreciate you watching it, you know. Oh, no, don't freeze on me, gang. Woo! I thought we was about to get froze. Yeah, man, I always appreciate you being here, man. Really glad you enjoy it, Alex. And, you know, hey, stop through whenever you can, man. We we continue to do the streams. If you can watch them after, watch them. But, uh, you know, if you can be here with us, man, that's great, too. Yeah, we getting it going, guys. We finna feel this couple hundred pounds real quick. Stopping by the stream. That's what's up. That's what's up. Gerald is stopping by the stream. Nice, nice, nice. Well, Jared, if you're checking the stream, man, I would reply in text, but I can't because I got a big one on the line. 
trying to get this in, man. But yeah, appreciate you, appreciate you. Up, oh, up, oh, there we go. Tarpon, bam. They are going off, guys. They are going off. Sleep say you sick. Uh, you just need some lemon tea. Good logic. Ah, uh, man. Hey, hope you feel better, sleep, man. Sorry that you're not feeling too good. Hey, Gerald, stopping by, dropping some love. Hey, appreciate that. Man, shout out to Gerald. Salute. You are elite, man. Hey, really appreciate that. Got the pair character pump in the fist. Hey, fist bump. Yo, appreciate that. Ooh. Good looking out, man. Shout out to Gerald for the super chat. Shout out to Gerald for the super chat, man. Much love. And shout out to my members, man. Thank y'all for supporting. Shout out to my Patreons. And again, shout out to everybody who up in here in the stream, man, doing what y'all do. Everybody watch the videos. Thank y'all. Thank y'all very much. Shady, what's good? What's good? Hey, what the heck things? Hey, hey, doing good, Shady. Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm catching the Jerry look, <laughs> trying to reel him in. That's a dub. Yes, sir. W, get them dubs for Gerald. Uh-oh, I just let one go, guys. Had to let it go. Too many of them going off right now. Yeah, hope you feel better, sleep. Hey. Gerald. Again, appreciate that, Gerald. Oh, got us a trophy. Nice, nice, nice. Got us a trophy. That is what's up. Yeah, we about to fill this thing real quick, guys. Really quick, like. Yo, let me let me shout Jared out in the chat real quick as well. Yo, appreciate that, G. <laughs> appreciate that, G. Hey, are you in here in the room with me, Gerald? Did I happen to just jump in on the right server, man? That's pretty cool. Let's see. Thanks for supporting Macro. Hope you guys have a fantastic night, day, and morning. Hey, thanks, Sleep. Hey, Sleep, get you some rest. If you ain't feeling good, you know I always appreciate you being here, always helping out and supporting. Um, Hey, you got to get you some rest. Get you some rest. Get better. Feel better. You know, holler tomorrow, you know, when you can come through, chat. You know what I mean? But make sure you get that rest. Hey, Gerald. Shout out to Gerald for becoming a member. Man, really appreciate that, Gerald. God, really appreciate that. That is what's up. Gerald just subscribed, became a member. You are elite, fam. Much appreciate that, man, being a part of the squad. I see you going by. <laughs> Look, that's crazy, man. Look, you never know what um what room you're gonna jump in and everything. Yo, yo, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the support. Let me see. Hey, what's up, G? What's up, G? What's going on? What's going on? Look, shout out to Gerald. Gerald Bates X Gaming. Y'all check them out. Y'all check them out. Let's see. Jonathan, what's going on? What's going on? Is the Tiber River good? As far as I know, it is. I went there. I believe I went to Tiber during the uh, the tournament that was here recently. And um, I fished for a bit. I was the only carp that I was going after. I didn't really get a chance to explore it, though. So... Um, but as far as I know, it is pretty good. Gerald say you about to get these unis. Hey, that's what's up. I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. About to get these unis too. Let's get these unis, guys. Let's get these unis. Let's get these unis. Man, look at that. Look, there's a lot of traffic up in here. <laughs> it's a lot of traffic up in here, yo. So everybody mainly doing feeders. I'm like the only person with the match ride mixed up in there. Hey, appreciate you, Sleep. 
Appreciate your sleep. Again, when you got to get you some rest and shut it down, man, you go ahead and do that. You know, you make sure you take care. You can't come through and, and help out if you ain't, if you're down and ain't feeling good, man. So, you know, you recoup when you got to recoup. I'm going to see if I can spin and get me a, uh, catch me a uni or up. Oh, there goes something about to bite. Oh, got us one. Got us one on the spin, guys. Oh, and that's a tarpon. And that's a tarpon. And he fighting. We might have got us a, a uni on the uh, on the spin, guys. It's probably a trophy, though, because he ain't running enough. It's probably a trophy. What's up, Gulp? What's good? What's going on? What's going on? Hey, Jonathan say, hey, you trying to get the level 22 to unlock white moose? You level 20 right now? Okay. Hey, keep grinding, man. A good Emerald Lake is good. Unless you're tired of Emerald Lake, you can do Falcon. Uh, you might can do the Everglades. Go after some of those bigger fish. Get your, get your XP up. Uh-oh, guys. We might have spun a trophy. I love when I spin fish and catch a big one because you really got to work for the, for the spin, you know? You really got to work. Got to put your technique in. But the feeding is fun, too. Oh, and we still going off, guys. We still going off. Oh, he done ran to the backside. You done ran to the backside. Gup, you say you on 2K? Yeah, I was on 2K actually as well. I actually got it on on my uh, on my screen, on my TV, you know, the console. I was running, uh, grinding out, leveling up some agenda, and uh, you know, knocking off some of the little some of the little objectives. Hey, what you catch there, Gates? Okay, got a trophy tarpon. Nice. Nice. Look at look at Gerald. Look at Gerald with the trophy tarpon. <laughs> nice one, G. Nice one, G. G done caught the trophy already. This one over here got me running like crazy. Yeah, guys. Let's see. The reason uh, you're only 20 because you stopped playing fish and planning for a long time. Just got back in the planet. Okay, that's what's up, man. I've taken breaks too, Jonathan. Before I really, really went back hard, like even playing on the channel like this, I took a little break. And, um, you know, because I, I used to play it so much, but I ain't took a break in a while. It's like every day I be on here. Even playing other stuff, I still have fish and planet, you know, up and be grinding. George, what's up, George? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Hey, Gerald, I think this might be a uni the way this thing is doing. This going to fill my net nicely. This might put me over a thousand. Over a thousand. Hey, George, how you doing? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Let's see. I'm playing uh 2K on the PS4. I'm on the PS4. I'm still current gen. I ain't upgraded yet. Let's see. Come on in. Well, this thing fighting. Hey guys, I also got spooled today. Before uh, I got fined yesterday. Today. I was playing, and on my match ride, I had Fluoro. Braid, you usually get way more distance. You know, Braid, you'll have like 800 feet, 1,000 feet of line. Um, I had Fluoro, so I only had 400 feet. And if y'all remember last one, we had that uni, that big uni. And uh, it got close. It went three-something, but it didn't go four. Man, this one spooled me out. This one spooled me all the way out. But on the flip side, like a couple casts later, I caught a 140-pounder. I caught a 140-pound tarpon. It was on the leaderboard, too. It, I mean, not like top 10. It was like top 50. I think it was 139. I had to show y'all, but it had me like top 50 on the leaderboard. Go up, say, do I have it on Xbox? Nah, I don't have it on Xbox. I think the last one I got on Xbox was like 2K18. 18 or 19. I think I did 18, and I think I tried 19 on the PC to see how it was. 
Ah, oh, man, please don't slip. Please don't slip. Okay, there we go. There we go. Let's see, y'all. Let's see. Ah, uh, it's a trophy, but it is 85 pounds, though. It's an 85-pound trophy, guys. Nice, nice, nice. That tarpon I caught early, I had to show y'all a picture. It was like 7,000 XP. Like, it was crazy. It was crazy. We got that 85-pounder. All right, guys. So, we're going to have to go. Uh, I'm going to have to move my spot. Nah, I ain't going to move my spot. I'm going to just pull out my rise up. Yeah, it was 140. I ain't moving my uh, rise stand. Somebody might get me for my spot. So, I'm going to just have to... Um, I'm going to just have to pull in all my rides so I can go to the next day. Guys, we are going to do the exploration as well, though. I am going to do the exploration. Um, so I might move anyway. We'll see. It's real crowded right here. Virginia, what's up? What's up? Say so your dad finally got you the Amazon pack. Nice. Nice. Let's see, Jared, you fished uh, with me before on your main account. It's level 70. This is your second one. Wow. And where you done got to on this second account? Let's see. You level 58. Woo. You been putting in work, G. You been putting in work. That is what's up, my man. All right, let's go to the next day. 52 thou wow. 52 thou wow. Oh, I meant to show y'all that. Uh, I meant to show y'all that trophy. But you know what? I can show you right here on the uh on the leaderboard. Y'all check this out. Y'all check this out real quick. We'll look at this one. That yeah boy caught. That yeah boy caught. Let's see. It was like 139.2. Was that it? 139. Ah, come on, come on. Where is it? Was it 138? I could have sworn it was 139, though. You always miss it when you're looking for yourself. Ah, come on. Where is it at? No. I thought it was like 288. Man, it ain't showing up. Where's my joint at? Did they reset it already? When did they reset the, uh, the leaderboard? Man, I'm mad at that. I was right up in here. Oh, well. I got the screenshot. <laughs> I took a screenshot. I can show y'all the screenshot. That's all right. Got the screenshot. Hey, Virginia, let me know. Let's see. You already got a uni out of Fima, trophy bull shark, and a trophy pariba. Nice, nice. Congrats on that. Let's see. George, are you close to 30? That's what's up. That's what's up. I should get it on 2K21. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Now, I caught a uh, flounder over here. Okay, we're going to do this blue crab exploration, guys. I need a channel catfish, bowfin, long nose gar, southern flounder. Now, if I look at my map, I caught a flounder on this side, but I know where a, another flounder spot is. Hold on. Was it that one? No. Yeah, I caught a trophy flounder over here with a shiner. So I might try for it right there because the other spot I got to go to is on a boat. And I don't really want to go get on the boat. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, I got to leave the lake for it to show. Okay. You say if I caught it today, it might not be up there for till another 24 minutes. Okay. Okay. All right. I was wondering. Yeah, I was wondering. Uh, Do I want to take up my doggone? George, I might, uh, doggone it. Do I want to pull this up? Eh, 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 eh. Okay. Hey, G, I might have to pull my stand up and move just so I can go after the, uh, so I can go after these explorations. So you might have to hold down a spot for me. When I come back, I know my spot might be gone. There's so many people be over here. Oh, okay. Let me, let me do that. Hey, which one, which one are you? Gerald, which one? I'm going to stay in the room, though. I'm not going to leave uh, this server, but I'm going to move spots just so I can go. And uh, in fact, let me catch. 
Let me catch one right here real quick just so we can set it off nicely. I already have something in our heat net. Then we'll move and we'll go ahead for this island exploration. We're going to knock these off, guys. Okay. Is that your channel? GBX. I have to check it out. Let's see. Both fan and channel cats both like medium cut bait at the other spine location as far as you can to the right. Okay. Yeah, I got an idea. If I don't catch them at these spots I go for, you know y'all, you guys going to have to help me find them, all right? All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Uh, what level to unlock Blue Crab? Oh, Blue Crab is pretty high. Blue Crab is um 54. Yeah, Blue Crab is 54. So, yeah, I just unlocked this. But Blue Crab is such good XP. I'm already at 56. I'm trying to get to 58 so I can go to the next lake, which is uh, Maku Maku, I believe. Trying to get there for that. Go up, say, when I'm going to play on the Xbox. I don't know. Um, Because I was debating on, you know, which I should do first, Xbox or PS. It looks like I have more people uh who support the channel that are on ps4 so i may have to do ps4 first but i don't know i don't know it depends i might still do xbox whenever i do my start from level one all right guy we got us a black drum we got us a black drum it looked like something out there stuck oh there it is yeah the fish was glitching a little bit All right, G got the trophy permit. Got the trophy permit. All right, all right, bam, there we go. All right, guys, y'all let me know. Let's do that lake check. What lake are you fishing at? What lake are you fishing at? What fish are you targeting? What fish are you going for right now? Or are you on another game? Go up, I know you on 2K. But what lakes are y'all at? One thing I noticed with these fish, and it might work with other fish, I used to just, uh, you know, when, the, when they start beeping, immediately try to get them. I let them sit on the line for a minute and let them try to wear themselves out a bit before I pick up the ride. Sometimes they help you just pull them right in. Versus if you get them real early, then that's the longer you got to fight. Joe, what's up? Shout out to Joe, another one of our members. What's going on, man? What's going on, Joe? Hey, appreciate it, Joe. Man, you take it easy, man. Have a good one. Peace. Blessings. I'll holler at you later on, man. Appreciate you stopping through. And we reeling. We reeling. Let's see. What level should I be to go to the Everglades since there are large size fish there? Guys, what level is the Everglades? I don't know offhand. I think it's like 18 or 16. I think it's in the teens. All right, let's see what this is. This is probably a permit. This is probably a permit. I'm starting to figure out which fish bite here on which days with like the temperature. 
on the bright sunny days, you get way more permits and you get drums and less tarpon. The tarpon seem to come out on the cloudy days. Uh, that's what I've been noticing. That's the trend. You know, you'll catch some of anything on every day, but yeah, way more of each on those specific type days that I found. It's 18. Everglades is 18. Thanks, guys. Yeah, Everglades is 18. I hear the plane going by. The plane, the plane. I uh spin and caught me that tarpon. Now they ain't biting no more. Let's see. Do I have the right gear to go there as soon as I unlock it? Uh, what what weight is your gear? Let me know. Do you got spin? You got feeder? You got match? And what is the weight of your setup? Yeah, if you just stick the bass, you'll be fine. Uh, as George is saying, if you stick the bass, you'll be fine. If you start going after like tarpon, you're not going to catch a lot of tarpon because they be kind of funny. You'll catch more schnook, but schnook fight quite a bit. And drum and those uh, catfish that be over there. What's that? The uh, the gaff top sail. But yeah, as long as you stay over in the bass area, you'll be fine. You can make good money. The bass there make a little more money. So yeah, they pretty good. But what's the what's the heaviest weight? Hey, what's up, Donut? Thank you for the subscription. You are elite. You are elite. Appreciate you stopping through. Let's see, Brandon. You at Blue Crab and people are cursing each other out over a spot. <laughs> yeah, man. Cause it's only like one spot, but it gotta be other spots, man. I think I'm going to have to find some other live spots because everybody only uses this one spot. It got to be other spots where you can catch the drum, the uh, the tarpon. Now, you can catch some on the boat, but with the boat, because they don't have ride stands yet, you got to, um, you know, you can only throw one ride, and that stinks. You know, that messes up your frequency of catches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to show me another spot, G. Absolutely. But, yeah, people be tripping. Yeah, this is like the main spot. But um, I know it got to be others because this is just too big. All right, after I get this one in, guys, I'm going to move. I'm going to go to this other side by the boat first. If I don't catch the flounder within a decent amount of time, I'm going to go for the other ones because the flounder is here. So I, it's over in this area. So I'm going to either get them now or uh, get him after I get the catfish, the bowfin, and the long nose gar. We caught bowfin yesterday, and I think we caught a, not a gar, a catfish. Not sure. Ah, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. You got to be careful when it comes through these roots sometimes, the, uh, the fish will get off the hook. You say, what console for what, go? Let's see, you'll get one more full net at Emerald, then head out to the Everglades. Yeah, that's a good move. Jonathan, tell me, though, what's your heaviest setup? Let's see, first thing, when you go to a lake, look for a hot spot and where you can catch certain fish and where you make the most money. Yeah, a hey, great tip, George. Great tip. Uh, have I done the monster mission here yet? No, I have not done the monster mission. That's something that I have to do. Yeah, I have not done the monster mission yet. Guys, hit that like button for me. If you're just coming in, hit that like button. Hit that like button. Subscribe, share. Do all that good YouTube, uh, social media stuff. Algorithm, feed that algorithm. Follow if you on Twitch. Yeah, no, I hadn't done the monster, but I do need to do that. G, you have to tell me where is the spot to get the bait. I think you got to, what, catch some type of, uh, you know, catch some trash or something off of the, the bottom of the lake. 
hot spot for a kitchen, the blue crabs for the lure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what it is. It's like this crab lure. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I need that, man. So, yeah. I will need that. Uh, come back over here, fish. Sleep. I'm doing good. <laughs> Your favorite midnight snack. Mmm. Chips. Popcorn. <laughs> whatever's in there. Cookies. I got the munchies. Uh, let's see. Shady, you fishing at Rocky Lake. It's a really good lake for trout farming. You got 2,000 and you only caught 12 fish. Nice. Nice. That's good money, Shady. That's good money. Yeah, G. We're going to have to get on that, Jerry. You have to show me that, uh, you know, the hot spot for the blue crabs. Actually, where the monster is, because I have no idea where the monster is. And, um... And that other thing we're talking about. Just the other spot where you can catch good fish and make money besides this one. Where you can catch the unis. I know you can get it near the barge. Ah, right, let's see what this is, guys. Oh, we got us a trophy. Nice, nice, nice. Got us a trophy. Let's see. George, at the Everglades, there's a spot where you can farm 14 to 20K in an hour. Nice. That's good money. Let's see. It show me where to catch the monster. Uh, then the viewers will know. Yeah, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Gerald. Appreciate it. All right. I'm going to move to this other side, see if I can catch this flounder real quick. I'm going to do this exploration so we can knock this out, and then I'll, I'll come back for the money. I've been money farming like crazy, so. And I got about 10 more days. I'm getting these two weeks. Hopefully, tomorrow I can get. Uh, most of these days cycle through. I'll probably get another day or two in tonight. Get the day maybe like 22, 21, 22. And by tomorrow through the day while I'm working and stuff like that, I can um, I can hopefully get through this 30. I fished every single day of this trip. Usually I do some fast forwarding, but I got fine 30K. And then also just trying to make the money. I've been wearing my lines out. Uh, my rides, <laughs> everything, man. It's crazy. But, yeah, this is going to be one of the first 30-day trips where I actually fish pretty much every single day. Now that we get near the end, and I'm trying to cover those equipment costs. Y'all know how it is. Those equipment costs get crazy. But what I probably do is um, I still probably start to fast forward once I get in them 20s because, I mean, I done did 20 solid days so far. I probably do about 25 and skip through about five. Oh, you know what? I need, uh, I probably need to put a smaller hook on here. I ain't think about that for this flounder. We're going to put a smaller hook on. Let me see. Flounder. Oh, I could use buzz bait for the flounder. Let me look at what I need for this flounder real quick. Let me double check. Let me double check. I know I can spin fish, but I caught it with a shiner. Uh, Medium cut bait, small cut bait, shrimp. Gulf shrimp, sardines. Okay, I'm going to do shrimp, medium cut bait. I got gulf shrimp on here. Shrimp, medium cut bait, and then I'm going to throw buzz bait out there to spin. Again, I initially caught it with a shiner. Hmm. You say three? Okay, three works for, oh, man, I forgot to change my hook. <laughs> oh, I was in there worrying about, all right, three. I don't have three, so I'm going to go two. Go two on that one, two on that one, two on that one, two on that one. I'm going to leave the shrimp, on, the gulf shrimp on that one, regular shrimp on this one. Uh, We'll go cut bait, medium cut bait, and I think it says small cut bait. We, we just mixing it up. We doing them all. Oh, oops. Medium cut bait there. Small cut bait here. Bam, there we go, there we go. We're going to throw all four of them out, see what we get. Uh, Okay, value four to nine line weight, attorney 2,000, eight pound braid. That's what you've been using to catch walleye with bass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to need, yeah, I've caught the terror tarpon. Just blew up the bathroom. <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> oh, man, go up, ask the people what console you should do for Fish Planet. Oh, okay, I got you, I got you. I do that in a moment. 
Yeah, Jonathan, that ain't enough. Yeah, you're going to need to upgrade. While you're there at Emroot, saving up, upgrade your ride. At least get you a, a, the yellow bait caster. It's a 23, 24 pound. In fact, let me show you. Let me show you. You need at least like a 20 pound. Well, no, no, no. Not to go to Everglades. You could probably get away with like a 15 pound setup. But I got this set up here. If you can get this bait caster, you don't need it to be this big, honestly, for the Everglades if you're going for bass. But if you're going for some of them other ones, ah, but those are feeder and match. You need like a 20 pound feeder or match. You need a 25 pound feeder match. Don't even worry about this bait caster. This is good if you're going to go to White Moose, though. And this council of 3,500. And you could use it at Everglades. But again, you you trying to fish for some of them bigger ones. Yeah, make sure you get you like a 20-pound match or feeder at least. 30 would be better. But if you got at least a 20, you should be all right. You should be able to reel in most of the uh, most of the fish that's there. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go to 40 with this. See what it do. Let's see. Three old worth of flounder. Yeah, 12 to 20 pounds. Okay, George say 12 to 20 pounds. Yep. Halfway to one meal. Nice, George. You grinding. You grinding. Alex, you back. Just went to the bathroom. All right. All right. Hope you ain't do too much damage. <laughs> Hope you ain't do too much damage. Everybody taking bathroom breaks. I had to do that before I, before I sat down and started this stream, though. I was going to be here hurting. Be here hurting. All right, all right, all right. So, yeah, I'm going to give this a few minutes, and if nothing don't happen, then I'm going to go to this other spot while we right here. Um, Throw one out. See if we can get this flounder. And then I'm going to go to the first spot, because pretty much the catfish, the bowfin, and the gar in the same spot. The gar is back in the reeds, but the other two... Uh, we can get. It's one more fish on the list, but I already caught it. Uh, we getting a hit. Can this be the flounder? Can this be the flounder? Wolf, what's going on, Wolf? What's going on, Wolf? How goes it, man? King of the Pike Slasher. The Pike Slasher catcher. Ah, uh, that's a snook. Get out of here, snook. You messing up the groove. Wolf the Pike Slasher catcher. <laughs> that Pike Slasher. Niz, what's going on? What's up, Niz? What's good? What's good? How goes it? How goes it? All right, let's see what we got here, guys. We trying to get flounder. Again, I caught one flounder over here, you know, one time. So I'm trying to see if I can get him again. Now, this one feels kind of small, so it might be that flounder. Can we get the flounder? Nah, this ain't the flounder. This a gaff top sale. Ga top sale. Gaff top sale. Whatever. Let's see. Gerald. All right, all right, all right. Oh, 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 got a hit. Got a hit real quick. This thing didn't even barely get to do nothing, and I got a hit. Let's see, what is this? What is this? Ah, uh, this is a drum. This is a drum. All right, this is a decent-sized drum, though. It's a decent-sized drum. You know what? I forgot that uh, this ride right here is actually a very strong ride. I think I, this like a 60-pounder. 60, 60 so this could actually bring some of those heavier drum and um, tarpon in pretty fast. I got to start throwing this tornado. I forgot that this one was this strong. I'm just thinking everything is like 50-ish. But yeah, this one, this one, come on. Come on in. Come on in. I got to go for these other fish now. Come on in. Stop playing. Stop playing, drum. 
Ah, I might have to let this drum go because I'm trying to get these other ones. I need to see if this a flounder. All right, I got to see if this a flounder. Got to see if this a flounder. If I lose the drum, it'll be all right. So be it, so be it, so be it. Ah, these doggone top scales. All right, that's all right, that's all right. Wolf say, you trying to complete the monster mission? That's what's up at Kanik. Yeah, that monster mission at Kanik is pretty easy. That one pretty easy. I knocked that one out pretty fast. Uh, let's see, George, uh, you gonna need the location if I'm getting 50 pound guard like that. <laughs> oh, George, Brandon said you catch guard at your local spillway, your biggest is 50. Wow, that's crazy. LDB, yo, never guess what you did. <laughs> what you do, what you do, what you do. Hey, Carter, what's good? What's good? What's going on? How you doing, broski? <laughs> what's going on, Carter? There we go. We got this drum in. Let's see. Trophy. Nice, nice, nice. That actually wasn't too tough with this one. All right, let me throw my other feeder back out. Uh, let's see, you know where to catch the flounder, go to the windmills. That should be a red boat looking thing. The left side catch two feet from the left. Yeah, that's actually where I'm going to go. I caught one flounder over here, and I'm just seeing if I can catch it. But if I don't, then, yeah, I'm going to head over there by that barge. You're talking about by the barge, right? Yeah, I'm going to do that. Bad boy, what's good? What's good? How it goes? And welcome to the stream. Yeah, that was a big trophy, wasn't it? Uh, let's see. The only one you can get is the Nero 513. It's the strongest one on your level. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, you might want to keep grinding. I mean, you can go to Everglades and you can, um, if you go to the Everglades, you can fish bass, but you really going to have to totally stick to bass. And it's a few bigger bass that get around 10 pounds. So, yeah, you just, you want to be careful. I don't want you going there breaking your ride, breaking your gear. You might want to grind it, say, Emerald or even Falcon for a little bit longer and upgrade your gear. Get your level up a bit. That's the only thing about Fishing Planet that'll trick you. If you go to a, a new lake, the minute your level is there, usually your gear ain't ready. And usually the gear you can get at that level isn't good enough to get the biggest fish at that lake. You can get certain fish, but you're not going to get the biggest fish. So, like, you could go there and and even with that one you buy, you could go there and fool with the bass, but the tarpon, drum, you know, the big joints in that back area, you ain't going to be ready for those. They're going to break you. George say grind Rockies. <laughs> yeah. Rockies not bad. Uh, Falcons not bad. Yeah, yeah. Okay, for the XP. Got you, got you. Let's see, bonefish. All right, I'm going to catch whatever I catch next. If it ain't flounder, I'm going to move, and I'm going to uh, jump on the boat and go to that barge spot. Let's see. You bought a keep You bought a keep net for 22 k uh, Didn't notice your Everglades fishing license was running out in five minutes, so you spent your last 8 k traveling uh, just to not be able to keep anything. Dog. Ah, uh, you got to watch that. That stinks, man. Sorry to hear that. I got fined 30K today. I let my license run out here at this lake, caught a fish. They didn't even allow me to release it and say, you know, possibly get the fine. Nah, they straight just fined me straight out the gate. 30K, nothing I could do. Hey, sorry about that, man. You got to stay at Lone Star. Yeah, I've been there. Been there, done that. Been there, done that. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Uh-oh. Let's see. Let's see. Again, I'm trying to catch the flounder here, but it's not hitting. This ain't the, the best spot for it. Oh, this thing kind of big, whatever this is. A decent size. 
Let's see, when y'all was talking to Jonathan about the setup at the Everglades, you were talking about Max Drag on his, his real needs to be 30. Uh, still kind of new, level 22, and line weight on the ride. Yeah, I mean, you know, just the, the whole setup is usually around the same thing. But, yeah, that Max Drag, he could be a little bit – Um, it could be less than 30. I recommend 30 to make it easy. But – uh. There was still some recommend recommendation. I think Gerald said that as long as he like 12 to 20, he should be okay. So yeah. He just needs a little bit, you know, heavier setup. Or again, he has to focus solely on bass. And he might mess around and catch a gar or something. And, you know, it might take his ride, take his uh ride for a run. Uh hopefully you make sense. Let's see. When we were talking about his setup. Talking about his max drag on his real needs to be 30. Yeah, again, your ride and your reel need to be close in weight. Usually it's the ride's the heaviest, then the reel can either be the same or a little bit less, pound or two or less, whatever in that range that the ride says. Then um, then your line needs to be the same and your uh or close, your line and your leader. But actually, your line and leader can be heavier. You can get away with it. You can, your line and leader can be like 10 pounds heavier than your, your uh, reel. But it might give a little more damage to your thing quicker. But it ain't enough. I do it. Somebody showed me. And once I seen that, I was like, oh, because I was always under. Like I had like a 50-pound setup. But I would only be able to get because of my level of 40-pound leader or 40-pound line. And so I was losing like 10 pounds till somebody told me you could overweight it. And once I went up to the 55-pound, I was good. So, yeah, you can – it's a little science to it. It's a little science to it, but it ain't nothing major. Just try to get them all close as you can. All right, we're going to stop right here. I'm going for the flounder right here, guys. Let's see. Lone Star Grind is slow and painful. Yeah, it is. Uh, let's see. Dom still trying to catch that 40-pound uni pike in Michigan. Keep getting 38 and 39. Yeah, it took me a long time. You trying to catch that musky? Uh, is it the musky? Because, yeah, it took me a long time to get that joint. Like, I fished there for days before I figured it out. But you got to fish in that rear corner. If you go in that rear corner... Go way into, into oh, man, I'm moving. Didn't mean to do that. Go into that rear corner uh, back there at the spot by, you know, where everybody fish for the pike. And you'll find, oh, do I want to spin? I'm going to try spinning for this real quick, guys. And if you go back there, you'll find a, um, that's where the big muskie be hanging out. I caught like a, was it a 90 pound? It's like a 90 pound muskie or 60 pound that you can catch. I think it's 90. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. Hey, guys, hit that like button. Again, if you're just getting in, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Share this so others can check it out. Um, Let's see. At least you get free bait at Lone Star. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, Let's see. All good. Just a little more grinding. Yep. Right, right. Uh, Let's see. You can max out drags on rides. If you set it up right for maximum fish wear. Okay. You can max out drags. Uh, there are unique flounder to the right side of that barge with medium cut bait to the right side. So I need to go over by the trees, Gerald. Go over by the trees with medium cut bait. I got to see which one of these I put medium cut bait on. Nah, that's scrimps. Yeah, do I need to go over by the trees to the to the right end? There we go, medium. I'm going to throw this right here real quick. Uh, let's see. Uh, you uh, level 25 or 30, you still have a lot of upgrades to do. Okay, you get the level 25, 30. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do they got hybrid pike or musky? They have... Pike and musky. I don't know about hybrid pike, but they do have pike and musky uh, at St. Croix. 
Let's see. Go to the floating dock for the channel catfish where the trees are. You're facing the trees top right corner. Yeah, I'm going to go there in a minute. Uh, that way from the trees, about 15 feet from the barge. Ah, I had a hit. I had a hit. Okay, I'm going to go over there in a second. What's up, Will? What's going on? You can get tiger musky, which is pike musky hybrid. Ah, that's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah, I have caught the tiger musky, the pike, the, the musky musky. <laughs> The musty musky. All right, fish, come on. Let me get a bite. Let me get a bite. It's not very deep right here. All right, I'm going to recast this, and then we'll go over by the trees. We'll try over there. See if we can get this flounder. See if we can get this flounder. Me let them sit for a minute. Yeah, we need ride stands on the boat, man. We definitely need ride stands on the boat. That way we can throw out a few. I can still spin fish, do all that there. Yeah, man. All right, what's your biggest catch today? What's your biggest catch? Oh, and, and okay, what's your biggest catch today? And what system do y'all play on? PC, PS, Xbox, what system are you on? Biggest catch and system. Where's my drink? Ah, oh, I left my drink downstairs. It be getting hot up in here with these lights and computers. All right. I had a hit. But it's taking too long, so I'm about to move to the other spot. We're going to go to the other side of the bar. Okay, PS4, 92-pound black drum. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, yeah, we getting out the peak, too. I don't know if Flounder bite at night. We're going to go on this scooch down here. I like just slamming on brakes. Boop. I uh let's see. About 20 feet from the trees, 15 feet from the barge. Okay, 20 feet from the trees, 15 feet from the barge. I might need to back up a little bit. Go to barge, they go to trees. I'm gonna go right in the center of the trees reflection. About right there. See what we get. See what we get. Let's see. Black drum. Uh, before your pass ran out, you caught a 12-pound snook. Nice, nice. Uh, let's see. Try to catch both in. Bottom right corner. Uh, point floating dock. Okay. I try to remember that. I kind of got an idea, though, where I need to go. All right, you on PC, LD? A little bit closer to the boat. Okay. All right, Flounder, come on. Let's go. We need to be able to get on the barge and fish off the barge. That would be kind of dope. That would be kind of dope. I don't know if flounder bite at night. The peak is kind of, I'm kind of at the peak. Let me go a little forward. We'll see if they, ah, I might just go to the next day, but I don't want to miss this. I don't want to miss that money. Uh. Oh, well. And I might, I can't fast forward 30 minutes. I, I might should have went to nighttime, but yeah, we're going to have to try it and see. We we'll go about right there. Wolves, what's up, wolves? What's going on? What's going on? How goes it? How goes it? Welcome to the stream. Uh, 
Oh, something hitting. Something hitting, but it ain't took it yet. Going to take it. Going to take it. Ah, it's playing. It's playing. Something is on it, but it ain't really taking it. I want to strike. There it is. There it is. Ah, it's that doggone gaff top sale. Get out of here, gaff top sale. Let's see, going to Key West to hand feed giant tarpon. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, the biggest fish I caught today was a 139-pound tarpon. I caught that earlier today. It fought for a minute. It ran out to about 400, 500 feet. I feel like I caught it twice because one spooled me. I had a, uh, I had a match ride, and I had fluoro on it instead of braid fluoro doesn't go out as far it don't give you as many feet on your uh reel so i only had about 400 feet and that thing took it all the way spooled me out i tried to quit the game i tried to do like a force quit hit that alt but it wouldn't do it the game wouldn't let me quit i was stuck i was stuck but i threw it back out after about three four fish i caught a uh uni and yeah, that joint was 139. Uh, let's see, what's first shooting bad for your new point guard? I don't know. I don't know which one you going for. Uh, Wolf say you always watch my videos. They help you out. Hey, glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. Uh, hope you don't lose your fingers. Let's see, your girl is mad. What you do to cheer her up? Just talk to her. Talk to her. Crack some jokes. Let's say Carter says it's busy. You can't watch right now, but you will late tonight. Tie the kids. Say for the, when the kids go to bed. All right. I hear you, Carter, man. You know, appreciate you stopping through. I understand if the kids are uh wilding out doing their kid thing. I feel you. I feel you. Look, my son was in here wilding out before I came in here, man, running around tearing stuff up. All right, G. Let's see. Now, Gerald, I am fishing. It's nighttime on mine. It's 7. Well, it ain't nighttime yet, but it's 7.13. I moved to the late peak. So, hopefully, this joint bite at at in the evening because if it don't i can't fast forward for about 30 minutes so we're gonna be i probably should have just went to the next day but whatever we're gonna work it out we're gonna work it out we're gonna work it out Let's see. <laughs> yeah, you can't blow up the bathroom, man, on your lady. You gotta, you know, you got to burn something, burn light a match or something, burn some paper, something, light some candles. <laughs> you gotta hit that courtesy, that courtesy flush. Yeah, I don't know, Gerald. Again, I might should have went on to that next day. It's not biting for me. I'm going to try uh I'm going to try to spin real quick. Although this buzz bait I got is kind of Oh, you know what? Let me change this. Let me change this. I got the larvae as a prize. Let me see what size this buzz bait is. I got two buzz baits. This one a three aught. It might be too light though, but it's all right. Three aught. Yeah, it's too light, but it'll be all right. 
And I got this larvae that I won. Where's that larvae? I'm going to try this larvae. Two out the six. Yeah, I'm going to try this spot with the buzz bait and the larvae. See if I can get a hit. Turkey, what's up, what's up? Let's see, just got your hunting stuff ready for the season tomorrow. Hey, no worries, no worries. Appreciate you stopping through. I'm floating forward. I got to stop. Yeah, man, my timing might be bad, guys. Let's see, the Black Buzz and the X-Series Nymph will get you the uni. Ah, uh, okay. I got the White Buzz, and I'm using that, uh, that larvae that I won. I forgot why I got that larvae. It was for the mission. Oh, for the first expiration. I'm going to probably have to go for these other fish, and I might have to get this flounder later, guys, because this one just ain't hitting for me right now. I think I need to do it at the daytime. So we're going to go for the catfish for the bowfin and the gar while we still got some daylight. A daylight. Turkey. Uh, yeah, you can add me. That's cool. Charles Macro, no space. Yeah, I'll go on it. It's not hitting. All right. Oh, well. I'm going to throw... I'm going to throw down here one more time. And if I don't get any hits, we moving. Uh, you know what? I haven't even looked at all the badges this year, man, because they changed some of the names. They got a lot of the next gen name badges from last year. So, yeah, I'm not even sure. I haven't done a lot of my uh, research on the badges yet. Doggone it, guys. Let's see, you went to Lone Star to Everglades in like three days. Ah, <laughs> nice. Hey, LDB said he went uh, from Lone Star to the Everglades uh, watching me, watching videos and things of that nature, man. Glad that I could help. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. This last cast. Last cast. The flounder are acting stank right now. This is not flounder time. All right, let's reel this one on in, guys. Hey, guys, hit that like button. You just getting in, hit that like button. If you're on your way in, you're on your way out, hit that like button for me. Hit that like button. All right, channel cat. All right, so I'm going to go for the channel cat first. I believe that should be kind of straight ahead. I think you, I can catch it pretty much anywhere, but I'm going straight ahead. Uh, I'm going to use blood for this one. There's a few different things you can use, of course. Uh, cut bait always works for cat. Probably medium, pet food. I am going to... Let's see. Yeah, I am going to use blood. 
uh, ever heard of Snakehead? Yeah, yeah, that's like a holiday thing, if I'm not mistaken. I've um, I caught some of those Snakehead at what lake was that at? Was that Rocky or Falcon? What was I catching those Snakehead? I think it was at Naharan. Maybe it was at Naharan. Oh, it was in the hair and the white moose. I don't remember. It's been a minute. But yeah, I know about the snakehead. Again, it was like a seasonal fish. All right, we're going to try that there. Uh, let's see. You know that nighttime, there's no cool down. Yeah, I know that there's no night, uh, no cool down at night. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this one a little deeper. We're gonna go to 70, and I'm gonna put blood on this one as well. Actually, I'm gonna put blood on that one, and I think this other one we're gonna go with cut bait. I'm gonna do medium cut bait. Oh no, nah, no, nah, I've never gotten one in real life though. Oh, well, we got a hit. We got a hit already. Let's see what this is. We was over here fishing the other day for uh, tarpon and all that. We ain't catch nothing. All right, we got the both in. We got the both in. Both in. Both in. Cool. I was going to fish over to the left by the trees over there. Uh, but no need. No need. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, uh, let me double check on these cat real quick. Let's see, let's see. Channel cat, yeah, pet food, small cut bait, large cut bait, blood. Yeah, blood seems to work well. Okay, I'm not going to do medium cut bait then. Blood, pet food, maybe small. And I'm going to drop this down. Oh, this at 50. All right. I'm going to throw this one over to this side just to add some variety. Just to add some variety, we put you there. And we're going to put this dude over here. Let's see, I got medium on this one. Uh, I put blood on the first one. So what I want to do, pet food. Going to do pet food to this side. Let's see, Gerald got a fun fact. If you forward time tonight first, then go to the next day, there's no cool down. Yep, yep, if you forward time from the day, you have to account for all of it. Yep, that's right. Uh-oh, let's see what this is, let's see what this is. Let's see what we got here. Is that the cat? Hey, we got the brown bull head. That was for the first expiration, though, so I really don't need that. But that's cool, though. That's cool. Will say the stream is much more delayed than in game. Yeah, it probably is. Probably is. All right, let me go to this next joint. Let's see, I got medium cut bait. I try small cut bait on this one. I'm just kind of varying where I throw them. Actually, I'm going to throw this one a little closer. We're going to cross the streams. What y'all know about crossing the streams? Yeah, I don't know nothing about crossing the streams. Don't cross the streams. And I'm going to throw this one over here. Oh, that one got shrimp on it. They said large cut bait work too. I'm going to do blood. We're going to do blood to this side. We already got the both in. 
We just need this catfish. The flounder was eluding us a little bit. The flounder was playing. This looked like the catfish, but is this the catfish? Yeah, got that catfish. Oh, we got that catfish. Uh, you know what? I've been meaning to mark these. I wanted to mark the uh the both in. Let me go on and mark the catfish just for future reference. There we go. All right, so now the guard and the flounder. I can go on and pull these up. So I'm going to go for the guard next. We got those two out the way, and then we'll go back for the flounder again last, see what we can do. We about to jump on the boat, crank this thing up. Never cross the streams, I told you. <laughs> Gerald. What you fishing for, Gerald? What you fishing right there? Turkey. So you just bought a month of premium and three days in Florida. Nice. I believe it's the way I want to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. This it. This it right here. It right here. And bam, we're going to stop right here. I ain't going to go much further. I'll troll a bit. I don't really even need to troll. Uh, let's see. For Gar, Shiners. All right. My Gar, I could probably go with a bigger hook, but I'm going to leave this two out on here. And I'm going to throw these Shiners out here. It'd be nice if I could get on the uh, the side somewhere, but you can't. I'm going to put it right in the middle. We're going to put it right in the middle, guys. Yeah, a hey, turkey. That premium be making a difference, don't it? Let's see. Running this X-Series Walker show in Vigimite. Where to get the strippers? Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Hey, guys, if you're just coming in, hit that like button. Hit that like button. Subscribe, you're not subscribed, share, follow on Twitch, do all that good stuff, but hit that like button. We at 21. See, we can get the 30 likes. We done had a nice uh, amount of people in here. See if we get them likes. Oh, we finna get a hit. The water moving. The water moving. I feel it. I feel it. Go on and take it. Go on and take it. Ah, struck too early. Dog on it. It was moving and shaking, but that's all right. I should have let it take it. I should have let it take it. Dog on it. I'm mad about that one. I'm mad about that one. That might have been our gar. That might have been our gar. Let's see. You get the gar if you go straight out from where you just got in the boat. Okay. Thanks, Nez. I may try that. I think you can get them here too. I'm going I'm to see if this works for a minute. If not, straight out from where I got in the boat. How far out do I go though? Again, I'm going to get us a couple tries and we'll see what we get here. <laughs> What's up, head? What's going on? What's going on? How you doing? How you doing? How goes it? Y'all update me, man. Where you fishing at? Tell me again what lake. What lake? Let me know what lake y'all fishing at right now. And what's your favorite fish, guys? What is your favorite fish to catch on Fishing Planet? What is your favorite fish? So you got the Everglades. Oh, you can reach them standing from the dock. Okay. Man, I had a hit. I know that was my guard. Let's see. Striped bass is your favorite. Spotted bass. Okay. Okay. Big Ken said, yeah, mud water. What you going at, Big Ken, that mud water? You getting them bass or you, you doing exploration? What you on? Catfish, okay. Tarpon, nice, nice, nice. Ah, uh, somebody got the trophy walker. All 
All right, Gar. I'm trying to think. I can spin fish for Gar, too. I might spin instead of trying this shiner. I'm going to go over this way a bit. We're going to go kind of in between these two. See if we can get this thing here. Let bass are your favorite. They put up a good fight. Okay. Add blue catfish. Yeah, those blue catfish. Uh, they they fight too. They pretty heavy. You get some big blue catfish. What's up, Winger? You say use bread with honey. Bread with honey works for the long nose gar. Cause I'm going after those long nose gar. The long nose gar and the southern flounder, those are the two that's being elusive. We've caught everything else on our exploration two list. These are the two that's that's, you know, they acting a little funny. Oh, okay, bread with honey works with tarpon. Okay, that's nice. I ain't know that. I'ma try that. Yeah, I've been grinding tarpon like crazy. Bread with honey, okay. I was mainly using crab. You know, those expensive, man. If I can catch tarpon with bread with honey, the profit margin will just go through the roof. Those crab are like 3000 for 10 The gulp shrimp still about 26 for 15 Or even using large minnows and stuff like that, large cut bait, you know, get a little more expensive. Uh, let me look at these gar again. Check out their long nose. Okay, medium cut bait, large cut bait, minnows, shiners. Yeah, I was using shiners, shad, and crankbait. Eh. We're going to spin real quick, see what we can get with my spin. You know, bread with honey used to work on the drum, too. Uh, excuse me, with the, uh, the buffalo. That used to be my... my Ticket to get the uh, buffalo at the smallmouth at Lone Star, but they nerfed it. I know this ain't the right thing for this. I'm just going to throw it anyway just to see. Just because. Yeah, we see if we can get anything right here. I'm going to switch it up and put a, a crankbait on here, but I just wanted to mess with this. All right, let me uh let me change up. I would like it if they made it where you set up a jig setup and you can't put any of your, you know, your other ones, your spoons, your spinners, your bass on there when you're still out in the playing world, when you know, with your ride out. You got to come in here to switch it. I wish they would find a way to change that, even if you got to use, like, multiple keys or, you know, a double button press or something. Let's see, 12 foot, 3 foot. See, let me go with this ride. Okay, that's too light. I don't see the weight. Oh, that's a 3 fourth ounce. This is a 5 eighth. Go with this. Uh, they both too light. All right, well, I'm going with this one. We'll see what it do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Gerald, Sh show me where the easy gar is because I don't feel like sitting here uh, going after this mug all day. Where you at, Gerald? Oh, okay. All 
It look like you're getting pulled right now. Caught you a schnook. See if I can get me one on this crankbait real quick. Oh, you know what? There might be those other reeds out there. I might need to go over to the left a little bit more. I was thinking this is my spot. I think I need to go over here to this spot over, over this way a little bit. I'm going to throw right here one more time, though. Uh, let's see. You're using crankbait for some bass. And when you reeled it up, you saw Florida Guard jump out. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I think I can catch them right here. I was thinking here. It's all kind of fish hiding. I want to get that peacock bass too, that speckled peacock. Those actually are some pretty good money. I'm going to cast this right here. Oh, I'm in the reeds. I'm in the reeds. All right, all right, all right. Say so you can show a speckled peacock mark. Okay. All right, I'm coming, G. Best bet for guard small minnows. Okay. Jared, are we at the guard spot? Is this the guard spot? Let's see. You just part of, uh, caught a six pound Florida guard on the crank. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The Florida guard they not crazy big. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna throw my. Feeder out here. And we're going to put small minnows. Gerald, I'm assuming, yeah, we at the spot. So I'm going to throw this out here. Small minnows. Let's go. All right, everybody, hit that like button. Hit that like button. You just getting in, hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Trying to get this long nose gar. And then flounder will be the last thing that we need. We need that flounder. The flounder might not get got tonight, though, guys. I'll tell you, I might have to do the flounder uh, off camera, off stream. Because flounder was a little elusive. And plus, right now, I'm on cool down, so I can't fast forward. So we'll see. We'll see. Gup say you reading so hard in my career because your teammates are following other upon a team like crazy. Oh, wow. Let's see. Is Falcon like a better version of Rocky? Yes, exactly. Falcon is exactly a better version of Rocky. All the trout will be a little bit bigger. You'll make more money. You know, you might need a slightly bigger setup. But really, whatever setup you're using at Falcon, you should be good there too. Hey, appreciate that hit. Thank you for the subscription. You are elite. Appreciate you joining the squad, joining the fam. Yeah, it's uh, it's Rocky, Falcon, then White Moose. Those are like three levels of the same lake. They all trout, 
white moose, you're going to catch a 40 pounder, so you got to be careful. But yeah, those are like pretty much all the same spot. And I would throw Kanik in there, except Kanik is all salmon. You know, you got salmon and white moose. So it's all trout and Rocky and Falcon. Once you get the white moose, it's Falcon, but then they got a salmon in there. And then once you go to Kanik, it's like all salmon. And I think it's like one or two trout, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, Kanik is salmon, but it's still kind of the same type of fishing. And they fight. Oh, is that a gar? You might have a magar. Ah, there it is. I see you, bitch. Got that gar? Brock, what up, Brock? What's going on? What's going on, man? How goes it? If you don't get one here, the dock, that's not the boat dock. If you don't get one here, the dock that's not the boat dock works great for gar with live bait. Okay. Brock, what's going on, man? Yeah, again, it might be because I'm evening. You know, it's about to be 9 p.m. And I don't know if the guard bite out at night. I don't know if the guard bite out at night. The guard bite out at the guard bite out. What's your name, Turkey? So I can see it. Oh, so I know what it is. Man, when it go to 9 p.m. and that color shift, man, that, that looks so nice. That looks so nice. I'm going to screenshot that. That's pretty dope. Okay. I'll check you out in a minute. Trying to get these bad boys to bite. I'm going to try spin fishing. Hey, Gerald got the butterfly peacock bass. Okay. Only seven pounds. I thought them things was like uh, the unique of seven. I thought they was like a thousand though. How much did you get for that one, Gerald? I thought you could get like some thousands for that butterfly peacock, but I thought it must have been bigger. That's only seven pounds. Subs, what's going on, subs? Hey, doing good, doing good. How you? How you? Family is doing well, man. Every everybody's good. Everything is everything, man. I cannot complain. I cannot. Look, I'm over here trying to do this exploration, trying to catch this uh long nose gar right now. It's acting a little funky. It's getting funky. It's getting funky. 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 I could do my bass catch the 20. Hopefully ain't nothing else over here that I can catch. It's only bass and uh Okay, that uni peacock is 1300. Okay, I mean that's good for a seven pound fish. That's good money. That is real good money. Uh let me see. I'm gonna put this crankbait on here. I'm gonna use my lighter setup. Oh, I threw it too far. Trophy both in. Okay, hopefully they ain't too big right here. Because this is my 20-pound setup right here. Let's see if we can get this gar. Hey, um... Gerald, what do you spin with to get the gar? Let me know what you spin with. I'm trying to spin. Oh, I know you said a walker. Let me see if I can fast forward yet. Oh, man, time be flying, guys. Time flies when you having fun. I can go ahead and fast forward. So we're going to go to the next morning. We're going to go on and cash out. Okay, I, I covered my cost, $14,000. I didn't fill my net up like I normally would. I like to fill my net up.
But yeah, it's daytime now, so I should be able to catch this joint. I should be able to catch this joint now that it's daytime. And I should get that flounder. So yeah, we should be able to get the flounder once we get done. All right, George, you take it easy. Have a good one. Peace and blessings. Have a good Friday, man. Have a good Friday. Keep catching them biggins. Come back through and holler at me. I'm using crankbait right now, but again, I'll try something else if I need to try a different lure. I think it says shads as well. Yeah, I'm just straight reeling with crankbait. All right, George, much love. Have a good one. Take it easy. All right, this crankbait is not working, so I'm about to switch it up. We're going to have to try something else. And let me actually look at this day. Let's see, it's an overcast day. This might not be peak. Let me see what my guys is, is fishing. Where they positioning themselves. Let me adjust. Let me adjust. All right, the right to the right a bit more into the stumps. Okay. Yeah, man. If you just getting there, hit that like button. Hit that like button. Subscribe, share, all that good algorithm stuff. Feed that algorithm. Appreciate you stopping through. Yeah, we're going to have to switch this lure up. We're going to have to switch this lure up. All right, one more cast with this crankbait, and then we're going to switch it up. All right, Jonathan, have a good one. Have a good one. Peace, blessings. Have a good tomorrow. Enjoy your Friday. Going to get you some rest, man. I'll see you on the next one. Yeah, we're not getting no activity. We're not getting no activity. Let me see what else is good for Gar. Got to try something else. Come on, Gar. Shads, cranks. Try cranks. That ain't work. We're going to try shads. Go back to the jig. Uh, well, we got a one. We got a three. We got a two. I'm going to go with this too. And we're going to do this swamp, this swamp green shad. Oh, that's too light. What? Uh, let's see. This is a half ounce. Oh, that's a quarter ounce. Uh, the only half ounce I got is eight. Yeah, that is too big. One and a half is a four. We'll try this four out, see if we can get them. <laughs> Trust in the power of the walker. I'll try the walker. That's what's up. Brock, 
All right, hey, have a good one, man. No worries, man. You know, appreciate you stopping through, fam. Yeah, you take it easy, man. i see you uh, next time. See you on the later on. Have a good one. Let's see. Yeah, you got to work. Understand, man. Understand. Look, I was working earlier. You know, it's much later here, so. I understand, man. You take it easy. All right, I'm going to try this walker. <sighs> try this walker. Let's see. I got a four out and I got a one. We're going to go with the four. See if we can walk this walker. I actually learned how to really walk the uh the top water stuff. I learned with the poppers. So let's see if we can get something here, guys. I just want to catch something. I don't care what it is with the walker. It can be a bass right about now. I want the guard, but there we go. There we go. Look, I'm about to say, oh, oh, oh. Woo! I had my drag up way too high. We was about to uh, break our rod. All right, we got a peacock. We got the trophy butterfly peacock. Nice, nice, nice. Look, I'm going to say, I just want something to bite right now. All right. All right, now we getting in and now we getting in the groove. Now we getting in the groove. Get into the groove. You got to prove. <laughs> All right, let's let it walk. Let's let it walk. Let's let it do what it does. Let's let it do what it does. Yeah, I did not know how to really walk uh, or use the top water lure. Like, it's a technique, and then it just does it all by itself. It's almost like when crankbait, when you just straight reeling. But, yeah, I did not know that. So I used to do it the hard way where you actually, like, work in the ride the whole time. There's a much easier way, people. There is a much easier way. Let's see, use four eye. Okay, yeah, I got a four eye on here. Turkey say you just had a massive fish on. You don't know what it was, but it was too big for your ride. Smash the popper. Dog. It dragged you 600 and you lost the line on low tension. Hey, well, at least you didn't, you know, uh, get spooled out of break, but it still stinks when you lose that low tension, though. Some great white in Florida. Yeah, man. Some good fishing. Some good fishing. Aaron, what's going on? What's going on? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Say you fishing at Fisher Planet. What lake are you fishing? Where you at? Where you at? Let me know. Ah, Vidge got the unique long nose guard. Nice. Nice one, Vidge. Nice one. Yeah, what's up, Aaron? How you doing? Eris, where are you fishing? Ah, I got a bite, but it didn't take it. Up, oh, it's coming back. It's coming back. It came back for it. That's it. We got it. We got it. That's the gar. We got it. Nice, nice, nice. Got it, got it, got it. I'm going to take a picture of that just because. Just because. Long nose gar on them. And I'm going to mark it just so I can remember when I come back. Hey, thanks, Gerald. Shout out to G Bates. Shout out to G Bates. Helping me out with the spot and the technique. And you know what? I forgot I had that X-Series lure. You're right. I won that jammy. That would have made this a whole lot easier. And it's the 
it's the perfect weight. It's the half ounce. And it's the uh, four eight. So that really would have made this thing easy. I'm going to throw this out one more again, man. And then we going back for that flounder. The power of the walker. Eric say you at Rocky Lake. Yeah, nice. Rocky Lake is that thing. So that's a good lake. That's a good lake. Yo, guys, you just getting in here, hit that like button for me. Hit that like. If you forgot on your way in, hit that like button. Subscribe. Do all that good stuff. We trying to get that up to 30 likes. We at 27. We at 27. We need three more. Oh, and we got the both in. Bam. The trophy. The trophy. Yeah, man, I forgot all about my X-Series Walker. Now I just want to use it just to catch me a few fish before I move. Let's see. Nico, what's up? What's up? What's going on? How you doing? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Sub say you starting to be Xbox now, probably a weeping. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Weeping. That's some good fishing. I know you out there grinding. All right, Bofin. Get out of here. I'm trying to get Gar. I ain't fooling with you. This Bofin is on it. Dom, wish they would let you fish your gear at the lake instead of leaving and going back to the menu. Yeah, man. I know. I know. I'm, I'm going to make something talking about all the stuff that they need to fix. Okay, yeah, bitch. Yeah, 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 I'll do that. Give, give me one second. Give me one second. What are, what are y'all names on there? Because sometimes the stuff don't be showing up properly. I want to make sure I'm accepting the right people. I got a few old requests. I don't want to uh, delete them, but I don't want to accept them. Like, this all I got. Okay, there you go. I got you, bitch. Jerry, where you at? Where you at? I ain't see yours. Let's see, before that toss, that walker to the right, to the middle of the stumps and get the speckled uni. I got the trophy. I ain't get the speckled, though. Yeah, this X-Series do work. X-Series everything does work. All right, I'm seeing if I can get me one more catch with this, and then we going back for the flounder. We going back for the flounder. It's daytime. We should be able to get it before we get up out of here, guys. See if I can get me just something to hit. No, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, well. All right, about to move along, about to move along. We got one more, guys, one more. Can we get this flounder? I'm about to move, guys. I'm going for the flounder. Yo, this nice out here, though. Let me look at my, look at my little readout, Jamie. Let's see, what is this? I caught something over here. What did I catch over here? Oh, I must have got on. Oh, okay, that's the little dock thing right there. Ah, I didn't notice where we were at. We're very close to that other floating dock. Who knew? Oh, man, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. 
this ain't the way out. <laughs> it's a lot of fishing out here, guys. Like, let me look at the map. Let me look at the map. No. No. I need to get up. It's a lot of places to fish. Like, this is a really large lake. Like, people do not utilize the the vastness and the, the massiveness of this lake. Okay, I got to go up here, turn right, turn right, and then we coming down. All right. Right, right down. All right, let's go. Oh, I need to hit my tilde key. What I do? Oh, nice. I can get that stuff off the screen. Nice. All right, we cutting up through here. Yeah, this is a massive, massive lake. Like, there are a lot of places that you could fish. And again, everybody really goes to one spot. Oh, no, no, turn, turn, turn. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> uh, let's see. Brody, what up, Brody? What's going on? What's going on? How goes it? How goes it? How you doing? Eris, say you fishing for trout? Nice. How's it coming along? I'm trying to catch this flounder. Let me get this last flounder. All right, I'm going to try here first, and then I'm going over where my man suggested. We're going to see if we can get this flounder. Oh, I never did look at my peak times. Okay, I'm in enough of a peak. I ain't in the peak peak, but I'm in enough of the peak where I should be able to get this flounder. All right. And... I'm going to try this buzz bait. Why not? I don't know if the flounder big enough for that hook, but we're going to see. And I'm going to put this larvae on there with them. The black buzz bait with the larvae. I'm going to try this, and I'm going to just throw it out and uh, see if I can just catch him on some live bait. Flounders is an ugly fish, man. Let's see. What I say? Shrimp. Cut bait, mullet, flounder, okay, the buzz bait, but I'm going to try the shrimp, medium cut bait, gulf shrimp, muscle meat. Eh, I might need to try that muscle meat. All right, yeah, I'll add you. Uh, I'll add you in a moment. Yeah, the friend thing is jacked up. It is jacked up. Oh, let me put my stuff back. I can't see. Hey, that's what's up, LD. LD made it back to New York. Hey, congrats, man. You're going to grind there in a minute, and you'll be back at your other lakes, man. You're almost there. Gerald, you say, uh, let me see. They'll be adding ocean maps. That's going to get crazy when they add ocean maps. Ain't that when they're supposed to be adding these rides? Higher demand than other places in the world. Yeah, ocean maps is going to be crazy because that's going to be deep sea fishing, right? How does that even work? How is that system going to work? Like, I'm very curious. Y'all let me know in the chat what y'all think. How y'all think the deep sea, the ocean fishing system is going to work? Is it going to be similar to this? On a boat, we just fishing off. They're going to add rides. You think they finally going to make it where we can multiplayer, where we can actually fish together? Where we can fish together and multiple people fishing off a boat in the ocean? Is it going to be easy? Like in real deep sea fishing, you find a spot and it's like thousands of fish down there, so it's easy to catch them. I really wonder what y'all think. JC, what's up? Shout out to JC, one of our members. What's going on, fam? 
Say you just getting off work. That's what's up. That's what's up. Hope you ain't work too hard. Hope you ain't work too hard. How you doing? How you doing? Let's see. And you can troll fish. Uh, we'll be charter boats with four ride holders. Yeah, that's going to be dope. Charter boats. Again, that's what you do in real life. Let's say four ride holders. That's going to be interesting. I'm, one, I'm really wondering how that's going to work. Um, what did it say? Cut bait. Muscle meat. Let me try this muscle meat. I believe muscle meat was one of the ones I could try. Nice trophy wall out of start. Nice, nice. <laughs> you say they don't pay you enough to work hard. I feel you. I feel you on that. I feel you on that, brother. <laughs> I feel you on that. Trying to get this flounder, guys. This is the last thing. Last thing we can get this exploration. Every now and then, it's one fish. One fish that want to act funny. One fish that want to act funny. I believe muscle meat was on that list. I'm going to go down here to uh, Gerald's spot. Gerald told me about a good spot. Which same area, just down here a little further, right by the barge. Right down here by the barge. Let me check one more again, one more again. All right, flounder. Stop playing. Cut bait shrimp muscle meat. Cut bait shrimp muscle meat. Let's see. Cut bait shrimp gulf shrimp muscle meat. Worms, jigs, nymphs, grubs, larvae. Okay. Cut bait shrimp muscle meat. Try this muscle meat first. All right, muscle meat. Now, I caught a flounder near the hot spot where everybody fishes, but it didn't hit today. And that was kind of random. I was really fishing for other stuff, but one of them jumped on as well. Renee, what's going on? What's going on? Welcome to the stream. How are you? Hey, nice one, Gerald. Nice one. Got that uni long nose gar. Nice one. Yeah, how you doing this evening? Again, guys, if you're just coming in, hit that like button. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you aren't subscribed. And hit that noty bell. You can come join us on these streams. Let me try my feeder. I mean, not my feeder. Let me try my float. Maybe the float will make a difference. I'm going to go with this one and... I say medium cut bait. We'll try some cut bait. Let's see what our depth is. I leave it at fifty. I leave it at fifty. Fifty piece, a fifty piece.
See if we get any activity. Yeah, this flounder is tripping. Let me know in the comments if you know another flounder spot. If you know another flounder spot, let me know. Right here is one of the ones that I know of, although I haven't caught it here. I, I've heard that it is, but yeah, we're trying to get this flounder, man. It's the last one on the list, and he is playing. This Exploration 2, by the way, if you don't know. We did Exploration 1 on the last stream, and now we're trying to get this Exploration 2. Now, you can't get on the barge. This flounder is BSing. Let's see, bottom right of the floating dock. See, I know you can catch them down here too. I know you can catch them down here as well. Let's see. You see the thing to your left at the point of it behind you. I caught mine at night. Let me see. Yeah, I know you can catch them by this barge. I'm going to try to get them by this barge. Uh, let's see, I got a crab. We're going to throw crab on here. I need to see how deep I need to make this thing. We're going to make it deeper, deeper and deeper. What can I do? Bam, bam. Uh, let's see. At night, they bite a lot. Ah, man, I was fishing at night, and I ain't getting none. So I was trying it in the daytime. I'm going to have to fast forward to the evening. Oh, I'm getting some type of hit, though. Nico, what's up? What's up? This is Blue Crab. This is Blue Crab. Good money out here, Blue Crab. It's a very high-level lake, though, but very good money. Very good money. Renee said you caught your biggest fish ever. It was two-something pounds. Nice. Where'd you catch it at? What lake were you fishing? Nez, you think flounder are more active at night in real life? Hey, what's up, Wiz? What's going on? You just unpaused, and you see you in my lobby sending me the hacks. Ha, <laughs> nice, nice. What's up, what's up with you? Man, I got a little hit. I heard the ding. I need this flounder. All right, I'm feeling it vibrating. I'm getting a hit. Okay, there it is. It's taking it. It's taking it. There we go. There we go. Is this the flounder? Hey, there it is. There it is. There it is. We got it, guys. We got it. 
A U U U U U. We did Island Exploration 2, guys. Thank you for everybody who has helped. Shout out to all the Elite fam. Much appreciated to everyone. Wizard fingers threw the little wizardry on it, and that thing jumped right on it, man. We got it. Shout out to Gerald. Shout out to everybody who been helping, man. That is what's up. That is what's up. Uh, let's see, LDB, you using my Aurora 8.2 and the uh, Prime 3500 real setup. Nice. Very good setup. Hey, I worked that setup for a while. That is a very good setup. Very good setup. All right, let's see that thing pop up. Bam. Blue Crab Island Exploration. Bam. Let me get that Texas rig. Y'all going to have to show me how to use that Texas rig, too, because um, does the Texas rig make your spinner work like a float or a feeder, or are you still spin fishing? I need to see how to hook that Texas rig up. I want to I wanna learn that, fish it, do it on the stream or in the video, man, so I can show some people how to use that as well. Get on that Texas rig. Yeah, man, we completed that. We completed that. So I'm finna go back over here to the hot spot and uh, make some money, get some get some real money in my net real quick. Oh, it opened up some more missions. Oh, that opened up the trial. Oh, the trial and the island saltwater. Common snook, red drum, bonefish, permit, tarpon. Oh, we finna catch all these right now. Oh, and you get a major popper, seven odd. Nice. We might do this one right now, guys. We might do this one right now. I know I got exploration in the in the title, but this might be Mission Madness. Oh, 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 oh. I kind of want to save this. Ah. Yeah, this going to happen anyway. I'm going to catch all these just fishing, period. Let's see the trial. Largemouth bass, butterfly peacock, speckled peacock, stripe. All right, we're going to go catch all those as well. I'm going to probably do the trial in the next stream. This island salt water, we finna get these right now. But I am not gonna stay on long. I'm gonna just go over here and get set up. So, so you know, those the ones we catch all the time, guys. You know, I'm gonna get that one real quick and easy. Real quick and easy. Y'all know how that one work. Y'all know how that one work. Let's see if we can find us a spot to squeeze in right here. Let me park my uh, Mercedes boat. See if we can get up in yeah, Over yeah, and yeah. All right, Frankie, you got to make some room. How you posting all up in the middle, yo? Let's see, Ness, how long have I been a member? I've only just, oh, <laughs> you've only just found my emotes. Ah, yeah, man. I got to put some more on there, Ness. I got to, like, make a few more. But, uh, yeah, yeah, those been in there for a minute. <laughs> you ain't know. Let me change my hooks real quick, guys. Let me change my hooks. Let's put these eights on here. I bought some tens, I thought. Didn't I buy some tens? Maybe not. Do they got tens in the shop? Yeah, say it's in my oh, that's a five. Five bot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I could have sworn I bought a ten. They got the nine. Yeah, here go the tens. Huh. Let me go on and buy that. Uh let's see. Is it twelve? Do they get any bigger? Do they get any bigger? Yeah, I really want to do one of these Texas rigs and these Carolina rigs, the three rays, all them. I, I want to see what those do. I have never used those. Okay. Get this 10 out real quick. Bam. How my inventory space looking? I still got a little bit of room. Okay, where is it at? Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, we're going to put some 10s on here. <laughs> Uh, excuse me. Woo. Excuse me. Excuse me, pardon me. Beg your pardon. Uh, I actually like to do one with gulf shrimp, one with crab. That helped me catch more drum. 
then one with Gulf Shrimp, one with Crab, yeah. Otherwise, it'd be all Permit and Tarpon. I like to mix it up a bit. I like to mix it up a bit. All right, we're going to go by 30 right there. Bam, let's drop this thing on in. Let's drop this thing on in, see what we can get. Got us some 10 odd hooks. I was using eights, and I mean, eights work perfectly fine. But we're going to see if these tens filter them out even more. It gets crazy right here. Like, I have to do a friend room because <laughs> it gets crazy right here. <laughs> Somebody was saying people were arguing and whatnot <laughs> over these spots. Ah. All right, guys, hit the likes for me. Hit the likes. If you're just coming in, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Man, look at all this traffic through here. <laughs> this is crazy. Normally, I just go into a friend room. I know uh, the friend system messed up, man. I got to get my man Gerald. Get Gerald on here. But the little friend system is wonky. Let's see. Texas rigs and Carolina rigs work with soft bait and bullet sinkers and offset hooks. Work good for drum and other stuff like that. They love soft bait. Okay. What are some soft bait? What are some soft bait? I'm going to actually throw something else on here. Where my poppers at? Let the poppers pop and the breakers break. Let me throw this major popper on there. Oh, that's too heavy? That's too heavy? What about the regular popper? Oh, that's two and a half. Yeah, that might mess up my line. But it's all right on this one, though. This ride, I really forgot it was like a 66-pound ride. I'm going to see if what I can get to uh, work with this one, though. See if we can catch anything on this regular popper. I really want to use the major popper, but I'm going to do this one and see. It's only a 4 out, but we might can get some catches. Man, look at all these people that just came out of nowhere. Let's see, nothing worse than setting up all your rides and then someone comes and says to a friend and you can't see your floats. Yeah, man, like this is crazy. I'm going to have to leave this room. It's been fun. We did get our exploration in. All right, here go a drum. But yeah, like this is too many people. This crazy. <laughs> Let's see, do you play on Steam or Microsoft? I'm on Steam. I'm on Steam, LD. Uh, can you catch Marlin in Fishing Planet now? No. What's the closest thing to a Marlin? Probably these, uh, the joints we can catch right here. Ah, now the name want to elude me. But yeah, no Marlin quite yet. No, Tarpon is probably the closest thing to a Marlin. Uh, what happens when you finish all your My Career games? You just start over. You just keep going seasons to the next season. Let's see. Slugs, Worms, uh, Shad. Slugs, Worms, Shad, Twin, Tail, Spinners, Nymph, Grub, Two. Okay, got you, got you. So you can put multiple ones on the Carolinas in the three ways? Is that how it works? Whereas, like, 
with a bass jig, you can put one, or the buzz bait. With a jig setup, you can just put one. With the three ways and the Carolina joints, can you put multiple soft ones, like three of them? Uh, there's a setting you can use to turn them invisible if they're close. Ah, okay. They kind of disappear when I look at them, but I got to check on that. Models in close range. Okay, okay. <laughs> Be careful, right? I ain't trying to pick up someone else's ride. Hey, Ruben. What's up, Rube? What's going on? What's going on? How goes it? How goes it? Trying to get this joint on in here. This going to be one off the list. Nah, only one for the rigs. Okay. Think the three-way does. Okay. Okay. Come on in, drum. This at least a trophy, I'm sure. This at least a trophy. Let's see. Bam, got us a trophy. I know that one going off. I don't care. I'm going to make it wait. Uh, Blue Crab Saltwater. Bam. Let's track that one. And. Oh, I'm trying to make sure I get the right ride. I got the wrong ride. All right. Here go the permit. We're going to get this permit. So it's a red drum. Not the black drum. Okay. Come on in. These permit get surprisingly big. They actually be having some fight. Uh, how's my day? Thanks, Ruben. My day has been pretty good. My day has been pretty good. Working earlier. Had some meetings and stuff. And, um, yeah, no, nah, my day has been pretty good. Been a pretty good day. How about yours? How's your day been? Ah, this is a big one right here. Let me just let him go. I'm going to just let him go. All right, come on. Come on. Yeah, I used to think that the uh that the permits was, you know, they was nothing. They weren't that big, they weren't that hard, but then I had one drag me out crazy. I think I caught like a 60 pound uni. Like these permits get get real. Corn dog, what's up? What's up? Hey, I'm good. I'm good. How you? How you? What's going on with you? How you doing? How you been? Rube say your day's been very good. Good. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. Let's see. Three-way rig. Fat Life sadly only uses one. Ah, that stinks. Yeah, that stinks. You think it would let you put multiples on there, but I guess not. All right, come on in, man. Come on in. You big head permit. Come on, permit. Quit playing. There we go. Oh, trophy. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let me get my other feeder. Where is it at? Something trying to hit. I'm trying this little popper, but this my hit. This is my heavier ride, but the lure weight is lighter, which is odd. So I can get smaller lure on here. 
but the rides do 66 pounds. My other spin is like 40. No, excuse me, 50. But it'll do like one ounce to three ounces. This one only do up to two ounces. It's kind of odd. Yeah, corn. Man, after trying them crabs, after you suggested them, like when I first used them, all I was getting was permit. I wasn't getting nothing good. But yeah, after that day and that spot, yo, it's been kicking. I've been catching tons of tarpon. I'd have caught plenty of unis, you know, the big permits. Um, you know, still with drum, even though the drum like them shrimp more. Ah, I picked up the wrong ride. See, they in my way. They starting to confuse me. Uh, but what else? Yeah, it's been real good money, dog. Thank you again. I also seen, like, when is the best time. Like, you're going to get more tarpon on cloudy days. You're going to get more drum on sunny days. And permit. There we go. Got us a tarp. We got us a tarp. Ruben say you can only stay for a couple minutes. You got to go do some jobs. Hey, I understand. No worries. Appreciate you stopping through, man. Hope you have a great Friday. Peace and blessings. Turkey, you made 98K today at the Everglades for free. Wow. That's good money if you did that. Congrats on that. Throw my major pop around here, see if I can get anything. Out here, I like to let them run a little bit. I don't even jump straight on the uh, when they start biting. I just leave them on there for a second. I used to pick it up quick once the beep start going on. Oh, we got a hit. Oh, we got a hit. Y'all see that thing jump on there quick. That's another tarp, too. Got them in there quick like. All right. All right. Now we'll pull it. Oh, well, I waited too long. I waited too long. They called my bluff. <laughs> they called my bluff. <laughs> I waited a little too long. George say you had a half meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm almost at that half meal mark. I'm getting there. I am there. I was trying to get a milliwop. So we're going to see if I get it before my 30 days up. I don't know. But yeah, trying to get that milliwop. Let's see. Yeah, this that spot. This that spot. Gerald, say, let me know you want to get that monster mission done. You hook you up. Yeah, Gerald, I'm going to need to do that. I'll probably do that one next because this salt water one, I might get it done here before we get done with the stream. But if not, I know I'm going to get it done tomorrow. I get the snook, the drum, the bonefish. You know, they always hit a little randomly. Get that red drum as well. But then I want to do the monster on the next stream. I might stream tomorrow or Saturday. Uh, Sunday is the day, but, you know, we might go ahead and do it just so I can get this done, and I, I want y'all to see it. Atiba, what's going on? What's going on? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? How goes it? How goes it? Hope you are well today. Y'all hit that like button. Y'all hit that like button. Subscribe, share, follow, do all that stuff. Feed them algorithms. Oh, my man Mark ain't here. Mark always remind me too. And the music. If you guys ever want to hear some of my music, man, check out Charles Macro. I run the game. I do a little bit of that too. It's a little different. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Check it out. Let me know what you think. All right, come on, come on. We're going to see how many of these Blue Crab Island saltwater missions we can get done. Usually the snook will be a bit by now. Bonefish are really random. They, they just bite randomly. You never really know. And the red drum and the black drum, they're just, you know, they pretty regular. They'll probably bite on my uh, guff shrimp. Hey, what's up, Roots? What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, what's going on? 
Uh, let's see. What do I know about drops? You heard or saw people having drops enabled. What is it? I saw that on an update or the upgrade. It said you can do drops now or something, but I don't know what that is. I actually got to do some research and uh, find out exactly what that is. If anybody knows, let me know in the chat, guys. What is drops? Yeah, what, what are drops? Y'all let me know if you got any information on that. Hey, thanks, Atiba. All is well. All is well, man. Been a good day. Uh, been a great stream, man. We having a great stream. Salute to everybody for being here as well, man. Y'all are elite. Salute for everybody for hanging out. Man, it's been a really, really great stream. We already did Exploration 2. We caught all the fish on there. Uh, had to go through a day cycle to get it. You know, shout out to everybody. Shout out to Vid, uh, the Vidge. You know, shout out to Gerald, Big G, uh, helping me find some of those joints. That long nose gar and that flounder was a little elusive, but we went and found the long nose gar. And uh, and then I was able to get the flounder over there as well, man. So, yeah, the stream has been going. The stream has been going. Oh, Twitch drops. Okay. Twitch drops. You link your uh, Steam with a Twitch account and you can get in-game rewards. People get in-game rewards for watching you, like skins and stuff. Okay, okay, that's what's up. I need to do that then. I mean, I'm I'm linked, but maybe I'm not linked. So I'm gonna make sure it's linked up for show for show. All right, there we go. I'm gonna give it a second, let them run a bit, see what it is. Uh, while it's still on the line, I guess for like, memory purposes the fish is really little but once you grab it it becomes its full size oh oh he right there oh he right there oh i grabbed the wrong one again dog on it and he was right there in my lap oh that's a tarpon too come on don't run you was just right here come on back you was just right here and you looking like you a trophy or something you looking like lunch come on back Come on back. Yeah, this a trophy. This might be a yoni. We got to see how far he run, guys. This might be a yoni. Let's see. Link my Twitch account to my game as we watch your stream after 15 minutes, 30 minutes. You get a crate to open in game. Oh, nice. It's mainly money and XP. Okay. And that's Fishing Planet, though? Or that's just Twitch in general? Like, how does that work? Cause you know we've been we've been on here for a minute. We've been on here for a minute. Yeah, this a big one, guys. I might need to uh, pause and go do that right now. <laughs> I have it done before the next stream. All right, guys, what y'all think? Is this a uni or is this a? Uh... Let me turn my beeps down. Is this a yoni or is this just a trophy? I think this is a um, a tarp. I don't even though the the permits run. I think this is a tarp. But what we got here, guys? Y'all let me know in the chat. Is this a yoni? Is this a trophy? What y'all think the weight is, guys? What y'all think the weight is? Hundred and thirty pound. All right, corn dog. He say one thirty. I think this gonna be like a seventy pounder. This gonna be like a seventy pounder. This a uni. Sixty four trophy. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking trophy. Yeah, I say like 70, 74. It might surprise us, though. At least 100, 120, 105, 70, 90, 110, 140. Ha, <laughs> uh. I don't know. Even though he not out as far, 
he fighting taking a while. So he might get uni status. See if I can work my way over here. See if I can work my way back to you. Oh, he's starting to give up, though. He's starting to give up. Yeah, he giving up. He giving up. I'm going to throw him right in the boat. We're going to throw him right in the boat. Going to get out the tartar sauce and some hush puppies. Okay, George, it's a uni. He said it got to be a uni. If it's a trophy, I'm going to still say trophy 74. If it's a uni, it's a 120. I'm double guessing. If it's a uni, it's a 120, but I'm going to say 74 on the trophy. I'm going to stick with my initial. Guess. But uh I think George might be right though. This this one might be a uni. Yeah, the way he running, yeah. Cause he is not coming. He acting like the hook ain't even in him at all. He just doing what he wanna do. All right, all right, he coming now. He coming, he's slowing down. He tapping out, he tapping out. I'm tapping now. I'm tapping out. All right, here we go. Here we go. Up, 78, 78. LDB says 76. Who is that that says 78? Somebody got it right on the head. I said 74, so I was right there, too. We we all was in that little 70 round. Nice. Nice, nice. That is what's up, guys. That is what's up. All right, guys. We going to wrap it up. We going to wrap it up. This has been a great stream. It's, we've been going for a minute here. I'm going to to shut it down. Yeah, Gerald, you got it. That, that was up. That was up. Gerald... Type, let me know again your name on here, Gerald, just so I search the correct name, man. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, friend you on here uh, as soon as we get off. But yeah, guys, great stream, great stream, great stream. It's been really dope. If you have not done so, hit that like button for me, man, before we shut it down. Hit that like, subscribe, share, do all that. Again, you want to check out my music, Charles Macro. I run the game. It's like a little hip hop game infusing fuse type of things. A little different. A little same, a little different. Yeah, no. Check it out. Let me know what you think on the next next stream. It's on all the digital platforms. It's on YouTube, Spotify, all that mess, man. Um, but we'll be back. The next official stream is Sunday, guys. But y'all know me. I jump on on Friday, Saturday. I probably get on as well once I get my work done and just stream. We do Fish and Planet. If I do more than one, I might get on and stream something else. Like, um, I've been saying Green Hell. I ain't streamed because it's so hard. Green Hell, that game is crazy hard, man. It's, it's I ain't I ain't been able to get nowhere, so that's why I ain't streamed it. But uh, Car Mechanic, you know, I still got Car Mechanic. And I actually got a couple other games I need to play that some devs sent me. So I might stream them. I might just play them. Yeah, we got people out over here tripping anyway, getting in the way. So it's about that time. Yo, if you want to come through, uh, check me out on, check out the Discord. We got a great uh, Discord, great Discord, a lot of great people, not a lot of mess, not a lot of craziness, man. If you chill and you know what I mean, you like to keep it chill, help each other, drop pictures, all of that, come through, check the Discord out if, if that's for you. Um, But yeah, yeah, it's time to move, man. Otherwise, I'm going to be here fighting somebody over a spot, <laughs> people getting rude. But yeah, man, yeah, man. So again, y'all holla at me. Uh, okay, Gerald, I'm gonna get this just so I don't forget. Bait X or Bait X Gaming. Okay, I'll check that out. And man, make sure y'all come back through, man. This has been a great stream, man. Thank you to everybody, man, that came through that has supported. It's been really dope. Hope you have a great Friday, great weekend. If I don't see you, if I don't talk to you, if you can't make it through the next one, man, hope you have a great weekend. Hope your families are healthy, safe. 
Uh, prayers up, peace, and blessings to you all, man. And again, man, salute to my members. Salute to my new members, man. Again, shout out to Gerald. Uh, salute to the members. Salute to my Patreon. Salute to everybody who super chatted. Thank y'all for all the love and support. We'll be back with more on the next one, guys. All right. All right. All right. So I'm going to holler at y'all. I know I will see y'all on the next one. Look out for that notification. And we'll do it again, man. Charles Macro. And I'm going to poke this person in their neck for getting in our way, man. Get out of here. Charles Macro. Fishing Planet. Thank you for stopping through. Salute to the elite. And I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.